and welcome back to Assassin's Creed 3. Last time, we learned a little bit more things about the homestead. Today, I want to see what the ship is. She equipped with a cannon. A naval mission, okay. Oh Come God, aboard and feast your eyes, boy. No, 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 not the left foot, never the left foot. Horrible look. Step with your right foot first. She is... solid? Aye. Weatherly and sleek. She'll fetch twelve knots in a stiff gale, near a ship from here to Singapore can outrun her on her best day. What do you say we take her out? Show you what she can do first hand. Where would we go? As it happens, she still needs guns and the officers to command them. We'll launch straight away. <laughs> Don't worry, lad. I'll make sure you sprout good sea legs. All in the mainsail! Get up the rigging! Hand over, fist! Come on, men! Let's get her out where she needs to be! Doing on the sea, besides getting uh, plugging for me to catch as usual. So I hope that goes well. Lad, no time like the present. <laughs> She's running. Take the sick. helm. Come on, come on, she won't bite. You're connected to her now. Half sail. Ah! The killer flies again. Do you feel it, lad? Set a course for Martha's Vineyard. We'll find our guns and officers there. She's a nimble vessel, but the faster she goes, the more cumbersome she grows. And the firmer your hand needs to be. Enjoy this stretch of open water before we come upon those shallows. Dang. Call for full sail if you like. Let fly, full sail. We need every knot, full sail. Medical. Wind looks to be shifting. Stay alert, Connor. Gusty winds can be difficult to manage. All oh, of the green area does. Rain her in to half sail. Ease her off. Half sail. Oh, that is because we keep going up and down the thing. Now, take us through these shallows. Careful not to run up on them. The sandbars will slow us down, but the rocks will put a hole through a hole. And if you want to make a quick tack, call for half sail. She's more maneuverable then. Well, we're already at half sail, so let's keep that up. Full sail! Unfurl everything! As full I, sail! Uh, Meters. Mind those other vessels. Hold your tack to keep your right of way. Reduce speed. Half sail. Sea shanties. Okay, this looks easy so far. What's the catch? Full sail! We need every 
three knots, full sail. Rogue wind! Half sail. Slow her down to half sail. Oh no. Okay, there's the catch. I was wondering where it was coming. I'm like, this is too easy. What's the catch? Cottages. We're close. Uh, the wind space is now, but I say it's going to get a little bit more. No sail. No sail. Full stop, no sail! Oh wow, that actually worked. Okay, that's actually not as bad as I was expecting. Oh, hello, Miss Mandy. You're looking every bit as ravishing as I remember. Hmm. <laughs> After all these years, you sail all the way to the vineyard to pay me compliments. We are looking for David and Richard Clutterbuck. <laughs> nice to see you, too. Robert Faulkner. Where the hell you been? Sorry for leaving like I did, lads, but where I was going, no one could know. You two working much? No. Between contracts at the moment. Well, we're looking for gunnery officers. What would you two say to working with me again? We'd be for getting into a few more scraps. <laughs> <laughs> Good show. The Aquila is a fine vessel. We're fitting all the guns as we speak. Looks like your friend's about to catch a beating. Where is Charles Lee? I don't much care for your tone. Hey, you don't want to be doing that, Biddle. Bobby Faulkner turned to wet nursing. <laughs> it's good you finally realize you're a shite sailor. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Not in here, gentlemen. Better still, not at all. Bobby, take your friends and get out. Let's go, boys. Our Why guns ought to be ready. Come on. Here? The older man is a Templar. Who was he with? A Templar? The young buck was Nicholas Biddle. Nobody. Sails before the mast. Midshipman for the crown. Are the guns ready? Aye, but we won't jump in over our heads. We'll find a suitable target and show you how they work. We've fitted her with a modest amount of guns to start, but rest assured there's ample room to add more should you feel the need. Ease her off! Looks like a British frigate with half seas over. Should do nicely for a spot at target practice. Bring her all broadside, and when all guns are on target, call fire. Round shot, start! Fire! Well done, Ready, boy. Sir. Now, aim 
all guns at her bow and do as much damage as possible. On me! Fire! Fire! Some old powder in there! Good! Now give the swivel guns a turn. More precise. Hit those old powder barrels and light up the sky. Break ready! Something interests me. Ah, getting a taste for the open sea, are we? We'll make a jack tar out of you yet. Now we should be getting back. The old man is like to have my hide for keeping you out so long. Oh, we know how this works in any Assassin's Creed game. We do a tour of us like it's very specific. Where's our opponent? We've got a bite him. Gunboats are about! Why is he shooting at us? Make ready, boys! Destroying property on the ground, disturbing the king's no, peace. No, Take your bet. What do we do? No else but to fight back. Sink the bastard! Use the swivels on him, Captain! All right, boys! Hang in there! Another one. Where in the bloody hell did she come from? Fire! 
the wind, alter your course! I got them! All of them! You get what I need, and I'll give them to you. Simple. You got a ship, could find them all to boot. Who is that man? Him? Some old salt always on about letters he's got from Captain Kidd. Nonsense, really, but he doesn't hurt no one, so I'll leave him be. Talk to him if you fancy, but be warned he'll chew your ear off. Anyway, the Aquila's here for you. If you should get a pang for the open sea, we'll be waiting. Now I implore you to head up the hill before the old man comes out of retirement just for me. Mm. Alright, that was really fun. I'm excited now that I... You weeks. And not even a goodbye before you left. Oh, come on. Sorry. Well, what are you waiting for? Once upon a time, we had a ceremony on such occasions. But I don't think either of us are really the type for that. You've your tools and training, your targets and goals. And now you have your title. Welcome to the Brotherhood, Connor. Put your necklace up before. to hear there's actually good news for once yeah i've managed to locate a power source and it's relatively close by up for a trip to manhattan is it safe to leave abstergo's got to be looking for us obviously it's not safe can't exactly sit around here hoping to get lucky though can we we need that power source besides i'm sure you can cook up some way to hide our movements maybe the Templars have access to all kinds of satellites and camera systems. We'll need to find a way to mask our digital signature. I can probably camouflage the van, too. But there's not much I can do for us. That's an easy one. What? We're actually playing as Desmond. Local utility companies have assured the public that they're completely prepared for the upcoming solar maximum. Disruptions to service are expected to be minimal. If only they knew. What's this? A remote operated camera. It'll provide us with a feed while you're on mission. This will let us talk to each other. We're almost there, so listen up. The artifact is in an office penthouse in Lower Manhattan. At this time of night, direct infiltration is going to get you noticed. I think we're better off having you drop in from above. What do you mean, above? Wait, what? Testing. Testing. 
One, two, three. Yep, reach you just fine. Now why don't you power up the camera? I've got patients. Running diagnostics. Perfect. I've got a nice, strong signal. Just a heads up. There's no elevator access from here on out. You'll have to get up there the old-fashioned way. That's cool playing as Desmond, actually. Like, an actual segment. Guarantee they're shooting themselves in the foot because they gave them the ability to do all this. They're doing SEOs and uh, all the air stuff. Oh, there's a hole still. It's a lovely view. <laughs> Seriously, Sean? Fuck you. You want me to jump, don't you? Okay. That made a lot of sense to jump. But I guess I have to go a little bit higher than I. UAV 001. Yep. All that he's not scared to do this. Pick up this 100 times my dreams. Heck, this game actually looks pretty good for being in New York finally. trigger and does everything for you now. Jesus. Look on the bright side. No security to worry about. And on the not so bright side, the slightest misstep means that you're effectively the next. Shut up, Sean. Yeah, Sean, you're kind of scaring these people. You're scaring them a little bit. Wasn't so bad. So, you must be Desmond. Not exactly what I expected. 
but I guess your kind doesn't have many options these days. Who are you? Ask your father. Now give me that. I don't think so. Look. I'm not supposed to kill you. But the boss man didn't say anything about fucking you up. So you've got to the counter. So who the hell is Daniel Cross? Believe it or not, he used to be an assassin. The assassin, the way I've heard it told, but... It turned out he was a sleeper agent for Abstergo, programmed to infiltrate and destroy the organization. How did he know you were there? We could be compromised. They must have caught me snooping inside their network and sent Cross to see what we were after. If they were aware of our current location, we'd know. Though, I will say this. It doesn't bode very well for future expeditions. I've set up some cameras topside. If anyone shows up, we'll see it. I'd suggest you go see about finding a socket for that power source. Or we can return to Connor if you prefer. All the artifacts in the world won't mean a thing without the key. Okay. We have two options. My option is God, next time on Assassin's Creed 3. We just saw it now. See you then. I'd suggest you go see about finding a...